All right. Okay, so I am super excited about this project. This is the Little Lizard King's um, lens pattern. You can do this in with cotton or you can do it with special occasion fabric, whatever you desire. I am doing the special special occasion fabric because Easter is coming and Miley has an Easter speech and uh, of course you know she got to be lit for that, okay? So, I have most of my pattern pieces already cut out. But because, like I said, I'm doing a special occasion, I have my, um, my nylon that I'm gonna put underneath it. I have that put to the side and we're gonna do that, you know, later. I but. also have my, this the side. I have my sash piece because I think it's really cute. So I'm gonna do a sash on the back of it. I have four of my bodice main back pieces, two of my front, uh, main front pieces here and then I have three this right here is my top piece so you'll have three of those so you'll have three of those on the back here with my uh with my pin when I ironed it to come off I just put back top skirt you know because you just have three pieces of those and I didn't want to screw it up <laughs> And I have on here like the back skirt. Like I just I just labeled them of what my pattern said, okay? So what we're gonna do first, let's just put this to the side. Oh, can't forget. I've already ironed my my loop, okay, for my back of my bodice here, okay? So I just took the long piece, fold both raw ends in half and boom that's what we got all right so and okay so and i also have my my skirt piece here and what you'll have is one long piece and i also got that label because i was just too many pieces so i said i got to label this stuff and then you got two side pieces okay two two um um back pieces here okay just like that and you can get these you just grab these um cutting grab these measurements off the cutting chart and um, so since I'm using tool, this is just gonna be my, I'm, I'm using this as my lining here, but I made it shorter than my tool, so then it won't peek out from underneath my tool. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, so I have already made my three ties for my, um, for the back of my dress of my bodice and I've also got grabbed my um I've also grabbed my sash pieces and I fold them in half right sides together as you can see here and I just went and pressed it because you know this this satin baby this gets slipping and dipping honey so <laughs> that's what I went ahead and did. Alright what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do cut off I'm just going to do a uh a, a 45 degree angle here I'm just gonna do a 45 degree angle here, okay? And just going to cut off. So this is my fold side here, and this is my raw end. So I'm just gonna just cut that off, just like that, okay? Put this to the side, and I'll do the next one like that. All right. Now what I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna take, grab my pieces, Take this to the machine here. Take this to the sewing machine. And I am just going to sew a 1 4th inch seam allowance along to close this 45 degree angle here and along the long sides on both of them. I'm going to do that and then I'll also turn them right side out. I'll press them and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have my sashes um, already pressed out. And I've also went ahead and it tells you when you um, refer back to your to refer back to your um, pattern here that what you'll do is is you're going to make sure they are mirror images first and then what I did I I fold my raw end in half here if you can see that I fold my raw end in half here and then I measured down two inches and I did a stitch two inches in the center of my fold. So I've already folded and I folded again to get my center. And I measured and I uh so I had I sewn um two inches 
down okay then I've also opened up that loose that loose you know what I've sewn here and I pressed it open and I you know that's that's pretty much what it looked like okay okay so I did that for both of my sashes here so now let's grab our main bodice and attach all right so grab your grab your front bodice piece your main bodice and what you're going to do is, is i measured up the measurement that my which is three fourth inches i measured up three fourth inches um of where i am going to place my my um sash here so i grab your sash and just place it there and pin okay and we're going to take this to your machine and we're going to do a basting stitch and do this for your other sash also okay so Good. measure up and pin so let's base this your sash on real quick and then I'll be back okay so I have attached both of my sashes here you see I have them right sides together there on the right side of my my main fabric and the right side of my um Touching the right side of my sash. Sorry about that. Okay, so now let's bring in our the rest of our pieces. So we're gonna construct our bodice. Okay, it's gonna be a little maybe a little hard to see because I got the sash, but we will figure it out. Okay. All right. So grab your back your back um, bodice pieces. And you're gonna put those right side together, lining them up here at your shoulders. See your shoulders. Okay. Gonna do this for your main and your lining here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this to the machine and I'm going to sew a half inch seam allowance on both my main and my lining of my bodice. I'm going to do that. Well, and then I also will press open my seams here. But when I'm going to do that and then I'll be back for the next step. Okay, so I have um, sewn my back my front and back pieces together and I've also placed my my loops here okay and I want to show you close up okay so as, as you can see here with my loops and I'm gonna just take this one apart I'm gonna get my pin and measure so I can make sure I can still be in the same spot all right so I measured down from the top 3 8 inch okay and I measure up from the bottom um, one inch okay so with my loop here, what I did, I just grabbed it like this, and then I just folded and made a U shape, and put it back and put it on my, just like that, and then just pin it. I hope it didn't get out of, out of focus, but that's pretty much what I did here. Just like that. So I am going to take this to the machine and do my do a basting stitch on all three of my on all three of my um loops here and i'll be back okay so now let's let's attach our um lining to our main bodice here so we're going to put these right sides together here just like that all right and what we're going to do is, is i have them right sides together and i've already um based my loops on here I'm going to pin along this back here all the way around the neck to the other side here okay I'm using a half inch seam allowance and then I will just trim off my raw ends making sure I do not clip um, my threads and I'll be back okay so I have Turn my neckline and back pieces right side out and I press. So now we're going to we're going to um, attach our make our side seams here. So we're gonna enclose our well close up our side seams here. Okay. So this is I have my bodice turned on the right side. So I'm just gonna take and take the back pieces here on the right side and I'm just going to take it and I'm going to put it here on the right side separating my lining piece so I got both of my front and my front and back pieces here and I'm just going to 
in and I'm going to sew a half inch seam allowance, okay? I will also go ahead and press my side seams open and get ready for my next step. All right, so the bodice is almost done. I've already went ahead to um, just do a basting stitch on both armholes here. Um, I pressed everything, so now let's um, construct our sleeves. Okay, so grab your sleeves. If you're baking some, if you don't, then you can skip this step. So grab all of, well, grab your main and your lining sleeves. And we're going to fold them in half, just like this. So we're going to fold all of them in half. And then what we're going to do is, is we're going to take this to your machine. And we're going to do a half inch seam allowance. Pin and do a half inch seam allowance on your short end here. And I'll be back. Okay, so I have all of my sleeve pieces, um, so, um, seams pressed open here and what I'm going to do is, is I am going to turn one of my pieces right side out just like this okay this would be my main and then my lining and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take keep one of my to keep my lining piece wrong side out and I'm going to put them on top of right sides together on top of my my uh, sleeve piece here okay and right sides together matching the seams just like that and I am just going to pin here at the seam just like that and all around this bottom portion here okay I'll do this for both of my make sure I don't mess it up both of my sleeves okay and since my lining is the same I'm just gonna you know I don't think there's no messing up in it so let's do the other side okay so I'm going to take both my sleeve pieces here and I am going to sew a 3 8 inch seam allowance um along this opening here okay along this opening here all right on both of my on both of my sleeves and then when I'm done I will turn it right side out and I'm going to press down here and then I will be back I've um, finished my well pressed it the best way I could <laughs> with this um, the satin I have already did my basting stitch on my arm on my sleeves here so now let's bring back in our bodice and we're going to turn the bodice wrong side out okay all right just like that and grab one of your one of your sleeve pieces make sure we have the center and then we're going to take this sleeve piece and we're going to put it inside of the bodice right sides together just like that all right I'm just going to start by matching up this seam here to my underarm seam and I'm going to pin all the way until I get to my to I um to my stitches here my gathering stitches and I'm going to do this step for both arm sleeves Okay, and when I get to, you can see that there. And when I get here to my gathering stitches, what I'm gonna do is, is first, let me find my center here so I can make sure it's even. So I'm gonna press, put that right there, find the center of my sleeve to the center of my uh, shoulder seam. And then what I'll do, I'll just gather in. And I'll just gather. So it'll fit. Okay, so I have my sleeves attached 
and um, pins. So now I'm just going to take this to the, my machine and do a half inch seam allowance. And I will also go ahead and serge my raw ends. And I'll be back. All right, look. So we have our sleeves on. We are making some progress around here. All right, so now let's just um, put our bodice to, to the side and construct our skirt. All right, so let's grab my skirt piece here. Okay, we got two back pieces, all right? And let's see. All right, so I got this one. We're gonna start with this one, and then grab your other back piece of your skirt, okay? And we're gonna put this right sides together, okay? So you know it's supposed to measure up, like it's supposed to, to work like that, okay? So right sides together. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm going to pin and I am going to take this to my machine and I am going to do a half inch seam allowance to attach, okay? And I'm also going to serge my raw ends. Okay? So you can get a visual, this is how it would look. Just like that, okay? And then what I'll do next is, I will take my front piece here and then I will lay this on top. Okay, so I have my skirt pieces um, surged. This was my back here, my back of my skirt, and everything is surged on my side seams. I haven't did this yet. I'm trying to see if I want to roll hem it, try that out. I don't know. I got the little roll hem foot, but oof. I'm a little nervous about that. <laughs> okay, so now let's. Um, Let's, let's gather our skirt and we're gonna put it in half just like this and we're gonna match our two um, serge ends here, okay? We're gonna match them up like this, all right? Just like this. A little monkey, but okay, here we go. So we're gonna match them up, okay? And we are going to measure down to, we're gonna measure down from the top of our skirt here, two inches. All right, so let's mark it two inches right here. All right, so I'm going to take this to my machine and I am going to sew a half inch seam allowance from this mark all the way down, okay? Attaching both of my skirt pieces, okay? And then I'll take this to my iron and I will press my seams open, okay? And then I'm gonna do that and you would do the same step for your your um if you're using your tool or your main fabric the long fabric okay now okay so i have my top skirt done i already, already hemmed it i'm gonna put this to the side and i'm gonna do like my this i'm gonna call this is my lining but it will be the main main skirt okay so so I pretty much, this is what I did. I just cut my lining out. I had it ironed, but it's not ironed anymore. And I had two of my two back pieces. So that's my front. And I was just match the side seams, right sides together. So half inch seam allowance. I'll also go ahead and serge my um, raw ends here, uh, my back ends here, and I'll serge and hem the bottom. I'm gonna do that for my main okay so i did my main top skirt i did my main bottom skirt slash well it's i, I cut it a little shorter so then it can be my lining since i'm going to be using this if you're using tool i suggest you use you know lining under there so i have it cut to the size i wanted the height that i wanted for her height and now I just, what I'm gonna do is just take one side of it, and I got four yards of this, okay? I'm gonna find the other half of it. And what I'll do is, is let's see if you can probably see this. I got a long thing of tool down here at the bottom. Uh, bunch of fun down here, the, well, nylon, that's what you call it, down here at the bottom. I'm gonna do it just like I did the top and the main skirt. I'm gonna put them together, measure down. Let me see, so I can get this. It's even. Cause it looks like it's a little out of out of whack. 
try to get this as even as possible. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get it even just like that. I'm gonna measure down my two inches and I'll take this to my sewing machine and do a half inch seam allowance. And then I will um, just, well, I can't press this open like I would do the other, you know, the other parts of it, but. So yeah, that's pretty much, I just try to guess maybe I'll finger press it or something to see if it'll, it'll go. If it doesn't, oh well. Or just take this to the sewing machine and just surge it. That's what I should do. All right, thanks y'all. So I'm gonna take this to my, third, uh, my sewing machine and I'm gonna surge these raw ends so I can make sure they stay together. And then I will measure down two inches, half inch seam allowance, boom. And then I'll be back. Okay, so I got my bodice here and I have my main uh, skirt. So we're gonna start layering our our skirt to our bodice, okay? We're gonna start attaching. So okay, let's turn our skirt wrong side out. And our bodice is gonna go inside of the skirt, okay? And we're gonna match our, turn this way, oh, sitting up here. All right, and we're gonna put our bodice inside of the skirt, matching. using our little placket here, and we're gonna match, you see, the back, like we would do normally. And we're gonna pin, I'll put this clip right here. Okay, so now I have my skirt attached to my lining here. Just like this. And I'm going to take this to the sewing machine. And I'm going to do a half inch seam allowance. And I will, um, I won't have to serve my raw ends just yet. So let's attach our main skirt. Okay, so I have already uh, attached my, um, my top. Then I right sides together, I attach my nylon piece, okay? So I got this all attached and I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine and I am going to do a half inch seam allowance to, to attach um, both of them. Well, to attach my um, this piece here, as you can see. So it's right sides together. So I'm gonna attach that and I'll be back and show you how I will attach my mask. Okay, so now last but not least, let's attach our lining. Okay, so grab your your skirt, I mean, grab your dress here and we're gonna turn this wrong side out. Okay, so on the, in the tutorial, it tells you where you, um, if you're adding like tool, and you know, if you're adding tool that you may want to do the enclose, like use your uh, lining of your bodice enclose. But I have, um, I'm gonna try a different method of enclosing this raw end here that you can see. And hopefully this will work for you. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to turn my lining piece wrong side out, okay? Just like that, all right? And I am going to place my lining piece inside of my, my dress, just like this. Hold on, turn it around so it can fit, okay? And I'm just going to now just match these side the um the back plate up so that's it we'll say it again i turn my dress my um lining wrong side out and put it inside of my dress okay now just match up our side seams okay so now i'm just going to take this to my machine and i'm just going to do a half inch seam allowance to attach, and then I will show you what this look like when we're done, okay? Okay, so now I have my lining attached, and now I, this is what I wanna show you. This is why this is like super lit, okay? Okay, so let's take my dress, and we're gonna turn it right side out, just like this, and see the lining here? Just gonna throw that back in, and then, now, if you can see that, Look at that. You see that right there? Now, my lining, the little ruffle, rough stuff we have, it's enclosed, okay? 
just like that. Now check that out. Now, boom, and then here's my lining. So now my last part is what I'm gonna have to do is I I didn't know that this fabric here that I'm using frays. So I'm gonna go take this to the machine and just do a rolled hem on it, okay? And then I will be adding my buttons. I gotta go get some, but I'll be back.